Okay, for this game with the brain speed ball, we're gonna take a shift and not look at the ball directly, okay? So we're gonna focus on your peripheral vision, which means all the things that you can see that you're not looking at directly. So we'll be tossing and catching the ball with two hands, but not look at the ball. So eyes are gonna go forward, head is forward, toss the ball and catch it. And even though you're not looking at it directly, you still are using your peripheral vision to see and track where that ball is. So you can make the adjustment with your hands and you can catch the ball. Now, smaller is gonna be easier. It's gonna be a little bit easier to anticipate where the ball is traveling. So if it's a small toss, likely to go back into your hands pretty easily. If it's a further toss, it's a little bit more opportunity for it to get off center and it's harder to anticipate. But still, being a vertical toss, it's pretty common to kind of get into a groove where you're like, ah, I can kind of anticipate where it's going. So to address that, to make it a little bit more challenging, play with a little side to side motion and a little forward back motion. So it would look like this. Each one being a little different. So you can't anticipate it nearly as easily. Keeping the eyes forward, keeping the head forward, but still finding a way to catch that ball. Now it's really common, you might find already for yourself that when you're tossing the ball, you're trying to keep your eyes forward, but your eyes look instead, even though you don't want them to. Because your brain's just gonna make this as easy as possible, and it's hard to not look at the ball and catch it. So it is learning a new skill for most people, so you know, be kind to yourself, don't get hard on yourself if you drop it a bunch. Remember, dropping it is normal, and I really encourage that you drop it once in a while. And if you're dropping it a lot, that's okay. Just play a little bit easier game, find the version, that keeps it fun, but still a little bit challenging. All right, if you have any questions about this or any of the games that I show, please let me know, I'm always happy to help. Go give it a try.